What's up YouTube, this is Dragon, and this is another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. So, let's get to the battle at hand. Well, this team I have to say is quite interesting. And by interesting, I mean the team that I picked out. Because you're going to see the Pokemon that I chose are quite unique to say the least. And here we are, we got Scraggy, Evil Light Scraggy, ready to take the field. Now, checking out this Ampharos over here, I see that this most likely will be a special attack user, and if it does have Focus Blast, I'm not too worried about that because I am max health points, max special defense, so I'm going to set myself up and start bulking up so that I can really take care of my opponent, and it looks like my opponent is most likely going to switch into their Lucario. No, he's going to go straight into his Charizard. All right. So with that, I'm going to bulk up a little bit more because this is a Charizard, so... I'm not sure if this Charizard is prepared for what's in store because I'm about to rock its world with some Stone Edge, baby. Oh, would you look at that? That is a normal Charizard using Heat Wave. But as you can see, BADOOM! Plus one Stone Edge coming from a Scraggy, taking down that Charizard like it's nothing at all. Paper Mache. <laughs> Paper Mache Touche. Alright, so now it is the Lucario, but this Lucario is also not really prepared. I just hope it doesn't Mega Evolve because I'm going to go for the Drain Punch. And looks like it's an Aura Sphere. I'm still max special attack, max health points, so maybe I can take the Aura Sphere. And yes, I can. I'm also Evolite, so now that Drain Punch is going to do tons of damage to that Lucario like nothing happened. All right, so let's see. Ah, unfortunately, I don't have anything like a quick attack or anything. But I'm going to go for Drain Punch again. And, ooh, close combat. So let's see. Will that plus one? Ooh, look at that. Look at that. I got a seven up in this battle, baby. Seven, seven, seven. Lucky numbers. Let's drain the life out of that Lucario. That's what we talking about, baby. Let's go, Scraggy. Let's scrape them all over the field, man. Dusting him off like it's nothing. I'm surprised my opponent never Mega Evolved. I mean, I don't really know how to feel about that whatsoever. So now I'm thinking, you know what? Should I just... You know what? I'm going to predict my opponent to go for the electric attack. Because, you know what? Why not? Why would my opponent not do that? So I'm going to switch and send out a new Pokemon that you guys have never seen before. And it is a Crocodile. Now, some of you have seen this Pokemon before. But you may have as well have never seen it before because I can guarantee you that most of you haven't. And now, with that, we are going to go for the Choice Scarf Earthquake. And looks like my opponent is now ready to finally Mega Evolve. Unfortunately and ironically, our opponent decided to go for the Mega Evolution on the Ampharos, which is possibly the worst possible choice given the circumstances of the situation. But that Choice Scarf Earthquake is going to knock this Pokemon down to its last bit of health, and now he's going to pulsate his Dragon Forces onto me, and it's still not going to be enough to KO me, despite Ampharos' humongously, massively powerful special attack. And with that, the Choice Scarf Earthquake is going to be enough to take care of this Ampharos and discharge itself out for good. So, that right there was quite an easy one, honestly. I don't think that was Goku. That was more like Goku in Dragon Ball. I don't think that was Goku Super Saiyan 1 or Super Goku Super Saiyan God. I don't know, man. We're going to have another battle again because, honestly, that was a bit too easy. Yeah, I'm not really feeling that battle. That that just wasn't that wasn't what I would normally you know. All right, so let's see. We're gonna go to the battle box real quick and challenge. All right, but I'm glad Scrafty was able to put in some work, or Scraggy was able to put in some work, cause man, oh man, Scraggy is a Pokemon that you rarely get to see ever. Like. Evil like Scraggy, nobody expects it. Like, look, still, close combat from a Lucario. It still doesn't matter, close combat from a Lucario. I still live in it, baby. Still live in it. All right, so now, let's see, I'm gonna get my focus on. So I gotta make sure I pick off, uh, pick the right Pokemon. So let's see, do, 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 do. Okay, I already see a good choice here. 
I see your potential, good choice. Ooh, okay, this is a very dragon heavy intensive team. So, I got a Pokemon for you. Alright. Um. Let's see, if I were my opponent, who would I start off with? Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to go into my Crobat. Yeah, you know what? He's probably gonna choose the, um. The, uh, what's his name first? You know what? You know what? Because of the circumstances, I'm gonna go into my Azumarill first. And, yeah, I'm gonna go into my Azumarill, and if he happens to choose the Poison and Dragon type, then I'll switch it to my Crobat, so that's good. And then, let's see. I'm also going to have Rotom. Or, you know what? I don't care that Rotom would be advantageous. I don't care. I'm going to choose a Pokemon that you guys have not seen in a very long time as well. You may get to see a showcase of that Pokemon very, very soon. So, we are going to go into the battle and see what our opponent is going to do. And it looks like our opponent is deciding what would be the best choice. This is very interesting because it's an all-dragon team. So, it naturally makes him weak to fairies and ice types and things like that. But, we're going to see how far this battle goes. All right, so the battle now begins, and I wonder who my opponent is going to choose first. So let's see, is it going to be it? Is yeah, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. It's just the just the Dragonite. So that's good stuff. All right, so now this is not the well, this is the uh, Belly Drum Azumarill, but that would be kind of senseless to go for the Aqua Jet with all these dragons. So I'm just going to go straight for the Play Rough immediately because the Play Rough. You know, especially twice will be enough to kill. And, you know, a lot of these dragons, they have Thunder Punch and stuff. So I'm not going to play that game. So I'm just going to go straight for the play rough right here. And he might go for the Thunder Punch, which would be a very good play. Alright. He might even go for the... No, not really the Iron Tail. But he could have the Iron Tail. But then most people do have Azumarill, especially in this tier. So it would make sense to have Thunder Punch. Oh, but then again, that's just... That's just for Azumarill. Literally, Thunder Punch is only for Azumarill, so that's kind of not... Yeah, yep, yeah, see? He goes to the Iron Head. Alright, and play rough. There we go. Breaking it. Breaking up that Dragonite Sash. I mean, it scales. Alright, I'm kind of sad that I didn't eat my Citrus Berry. I just hope that this, um... I hope that this next play rough can kill him. Let's see. Iron Head again. All right, you know what? And oh, that sucks. I was just thinking to myself, I could have switched to my other Pokemon, and then this wouldn't have been a problem. But you know what? Because Crobat is Crobat, we're gonna go to the Crobat and finish off this Pokemon right here, right now. So we're gonna go for the Brave Bird, baby, and take out this Dragonite like it's nothing. Alright, unless you are Scarf, which would be pretty crazy, you know, I wouldn't, that you never know, you never know. But at least I got off that one play rough, because that, my fellow Dragonites, was very important. Alright, so, uh, looks like my opponent is about to make a decision, oh, nope, nope, I just go straight for the Brave Bird, and... Ah, my favorite flying type attack in the game destroys that Dragonite, taking him out the game forever all right that Dragonite's ancestors and children's and siblings and relatives have felt that brave bird and they will pass it down to their next of friends kins all right so now let's see uh, a brave bird should do a lot of because look I don't have to worry about any um any scales or anything like that with these next with this next set of Pokemon so that should be good right right or I could say Crobat for last Depending on who he sends out next. Because then I could Brave Bird, Brave Bird, you know. Alright. Because Brave Bird definitely is going to be a killer in this battle. And it is the Kingdra. Alright. So let's see. Hmm. If I were a Kingdra, I would just go for like... You know what? Because, you know... For the fans. For the fans, I'm going to do it. Um, I just hope that this Kingdra is not Dragon Dance. I mean, kind of, I guess. But... You know, even if it is Dragon Dance, I'm not that worried because of the Pokemon I'm about to send out. Because, you know, it's a freaking beast. So, 
Um, unfortunately, Brave Bird won't just kill this Kingdra right here. So, because uh, Kingdras are, are pretty freaking bulky, man. They're pretty bulky. So, we're going to go for the slow bro right here. That's right, the slow bro, baby. Ooh, slow bro. Slowly dodging those attacks. That's what we're talking about. So, let's see. We're going to go for the Mega Evolution. And, let's see. Should I go for the Calm Mind or for the uh, Scald or, or, or the Psy Shock? Immediate? You know what? I'm going to go for the Calm Mind just so I could boost my special attack up. Yeah. Just a little bit and my special defense just in case he decides to use the Draco Meteor which will never crit by the way so no matter what I'll be in good hands and he goes for the toxic that is not good all right so is that it's gonna be this type of um I was hoping that it wasn't going to be this type of Kingdra but I kind of suspected it once I saw hydro pump ah but let's see if we can just go for the side shock and immediately start doing some massive damage all right. It's unfortunate that my slow bro is toxic because that is the the typical wall breaker that you know breaks walls. So we're gonna go for the side shock, and that hydro pump is going to do nothing, especially after the plus one. So that hydro pump does absolutely nothing. And let's see, side shock will it be a two hit KO? And no, it will not. That is unfortunate. So let's see. Um, hmm, hmm, yeah, I'm gonna go for a Calm Mind and then another Psy Shock. Because, ah, oh, Swagger, really? Ah, oh, Swagger. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. All right. Come on, slow bro. Just fight through it, baby. Fight through it! You can't fight through it. All right. So let's see. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna switch to my Crobat. Because, yeah. Let me see. Should I switch to Crobat? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna switch because Crobat has enough. Crobat will. What? First of all, Crobat can take one Hydro Pump. Uh, second of all, he's probably not gonna go for Swagger again. He's probably gonna go for Hydro Pump again. And there you go. He goes for the Hydro Pump. So, unless it's a crit, which would really suck, then it's gonna do a ton of damage. And it won't. There we go. There we go. So, let's see. Should I should I go for... Nah, I'm going to go for Brave Bird. I'm going to go for Brave Bird right here. And finish him off real quick. Real quick. Choice Banded Brave Bird, baby. All day long. Killing these pokes like it's nothing. Nobody sees this coming from Crobat. Nobody. Okay. Good. That's good. He doesn't have any Rocky helmets or anything ridiculous. Alright, so... Who is your last Pokemon? Who's it gonna be? Who is it going to be? Nobody has any multi scales or anything like that, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna withdraw my Crobat, and I'm immediately gonna go back into Mega Slowbro, so that my Slowbro can do some damage to the last Pokemon, and then Crobat can just <laughs> go in for the Don't Be Garchomp. There we go. You're not gone, chomp. All right. That's good stuff. That's really good stuff. All right. So we're going to go into the slow bro now. Um, this might be a mistake, though. But I already put in the input. So I don't know. Because, yeah. Yeah, because then I could have just... Mm, yeah, this might be a mistake. Hopefully, it's not enough to kill slow bro. Okay, it goes to the sludge wave. Yeah, this probably is kind of stupid, because look, and Slowbro fainted, though. So it kind of wouldn't have mattered. Well, all that means is that this next attack is going to determine who wins the game. <clears throat> but then again, he did use, no, doesn't matter, because this Brave Bird right here, this Brave Bird right here, if I kill this Pokemon in one hit, I win. If I don't, I lose. So, Brave Bird choice, Banded Brave Bird. Let's see what happens. Will I get the win? Oh, I won't. I won't get the win. That's unfortunate. So close. That Toxic, man. That Toxic really did me in. Man, put me in the Cats 22. There was no way I could have win won that after that Toxic, given the situation at hand. But, nonetheless, I still got to showcase some really good Pokemon. And... And as you guys have saw, as you guys saw, 
I could have went to the Rotom, I could have burned him, I could have rested, I could have done all this other stuff, but you know what? I sent out the slow bro for the fans because we haven't seen Mega Slow Bro in a really long time. And it's about time Slow Bro showed what's going to happen when he shows your rope. That didn't come out like how I wanted. But, my fellow Dragonites, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed these battles. And, as you know, there will be many more battles like these in the future. Well, see you later.